How's it going everyone? Welcome back to his channel. So after that I was 18 or later, if you ever face uh, no sound problems for recording videos on iPhone, then you got the right video to watch because today I'm going to show you guys how to solve no audio while recording video on iPhone. So if you have the problem, the first thing that you have to do on your iPhone, simply go to your control center and then all you guys have to do, you have to select or just tap and hold this area and first disable the Bluetooth settings from here. And right after that, all you guys need to do is just go ahead and open up your settings. And now um, scroll down and open up the privacy and security. And here you'll see an option called microphone. So simply select microphone here. So if you found the camera option here, make sure to enable this option from here. So if you enable it, your microphone is going to start to work unless it's the hardware problems, which I'll tell you guys later how you can shake that out. So let's go back here and now let's go back. Okay, so now all you guys need to do, just get out of here, simply restart your iPhone and check your problems. Let's say you have restarted your iPhone, but nothing changes. The next thing that you have to do, just simply open up your uh, voice memo. So I'll type memo here. Open this up and tap the record button. So if you see that your record is working or if it's not working, then you have to be 100% sure the problem. I mean, if it's not working, then you have to be 100% sure like the problem is happening because of the hardware. In that case, you got to take your device to the Apple Care. But before you go ahead and take your device to Apple Care, there are a few things that you guys can do to solve your problems. You can head over to your settings and then you can go to the general. And then you can scroll down here and simply tap this option called transfer recent iPhone and tap reset and simply select to reset all settings. So if we do reset all settings, it will reset all the changes settings to back to default. And this will pretty much solve all the problems that you might have on your iPhone. However, even after giving a reset all settings on your iPhone, if you see still it doesn't work, then you have to be 100% sure that you have the problems. It's happening with the hardware. In that case, you got to take your device to the Apple Care. But last thing that you guys can actually do, you can go back to your general and open up the software update and check if there's a new software available or not. So if you found there is a new software available for your iPhone, go and update it and check your problems all over again. So after updating your iPhone, I can tell you a problem is going to be solved unless it's the problem with the hardware or if it's a software problem is going to be solved after the update. Now still, if you guys have any more questions regarding this topic, please let me know in the comment section. See you all around.